I recently received the lower band temperature, humidity and soil moisture sensor from Microfabs. This product is a combined module that can be utilized in smart agriculture projects, providing an innovative wireless solution for monitoring environmental conditions. By utilizing LoRaWine technology, this product wirelessly transmits temperature, humidity and soil moisture data to the Things Network server for real-time monitoring and analysis. Farmers and gardeners can make informed decisions based on the received data. This video tutorial offers a comprehensive guide to configuring the LoRaWine sensor to transmit data wirelessly over long distance to a 915 MHz LoRaWAN gateway. The LPS 8N indoor LoRaWAN gateway receives data from the center and uploads it to the Things Network server. From there, the data can be published to any IoT platform, such as the Things Speak server where it can be visualized in graphical format. One significant advantage of this sensor is its capacitive nature which eliminates the possibility of corrosion. The device can be powered by three AAA batteries and can operate for up to one year with minimal power consumption by utilizing deep sleep mode. So let's dive deep and see how we can use this sensor. This video is sponsored by Next PCV and HQ Online. The HQ Online is a one-stop electronic component sourcing platform. HQ Online provides a complete set of electronic component business services. All you need to do is search the electronic component with a part number. As it has a fastest search engine, it will show you the list of all available parts. Add the part to your cart, then place the order. To get started, check the link in the description. The products used in this video can be purchased from the MakerFabs website. This is the LoRaWAN Soil Moisture Sensor which will cost you almost $20. To upload firmware to this module, we need a USB to UART converter which you can buy as well. The most important part is the LoRaWAN gateway. I am using LPS 8 and 915 MHz indoor LoRaWAN gateway for this project which cost around $170. You may use any other equivalent getaway. Let's move to the practical part now. The first thing you need to do is configure the getaway, then connect to the Things Network server. I have already written a detailed dedicated article about this getaway. This article explains how you can configure the getaway with a Wi-Fi network, then register to the Things Network server. Once the getaway is online on the TTN server, it can now start receiving the sensor nodes data. Now, the most important thing is this LoRaWAN soil moisture sensor node. This sensor comes equipped with an AST10 air temperature and humidity sensor making it perfect for use in greenhouses. It uses the 80 mega 328 microcontroller with Arduino Pro mini bootloader. The LoRaWAN chip it uses is RA08S which is a LoRa module designed and developed by Shenzhen AI Thinker for ultra long distance speed spectrum communications. Coming to the module part, the whole device can be powered with a AAA battery and operates within a voltage range of 3.5 V to 4.7 V. Its power consumption is ultra low, consuming 7.1 microampere of current when sleeping. But in message sending mode, it consumes around 4 microampere of current. This means if you put the device to sleep mode for every 60 minutes, then the battery will last for more than a year. Let me quickly insert the battery and make it ready for testing. Let us register this device to the Things Network server. Go to the TTN website and browse to the application part. From here, Click on Create Application. Set the application ID and application name that you want. Then click the Create Application. Click the Register Int Device to add an Int Device to the application. 
is I am in Canada now, which is in North America. So the frequency allocated here is 915 MHz. From this list, I will select 928 MHz FSP1 plan. The lower one version is 1.0.0. I am using OTTA method for activation. Click on Advanced setting and enter the join EUI. You can set up a join EUI with any 16 digits. Then generate device EUI and app key. Finally, click on register int device. So now your device is successfully configured to the TTN server. We also need to do one more setting now. The data that we receive is in encrypted format. So we need to decrypt it using the payload formatter. Click the payload formatters and choose the custom JavaScript formatters. Then user can copy the code to formatters code. The important thing to note is we need the device EUI, app EUI and app key which can be copied from here. This will be used in the code. Let's see the firmware now. This complete code has been written by MakerFabs. You can download the firmware folder from the GitHub repository. You need to go to this config tab. From here, change the device EUI then app EUI and finally the app key. You can see here the slip cycle is 450. The slip cycle function is a timed procedure that enables the device to wake up periodically and transmit data. The default setting is currently set to the 450, which equates to a reporting interval of approximately 60 minutes. For this thing, you can change the number to 2, 3 or 4. Once this is done, the sensor can be programmed using a USB to UART converter and the Arduino IDE. The connection is fairly simple and you need to connect it with TXRX pins for uploading. From the board manager, select Arduino Pro Mini with 3.3V 8MHz setting. Then select the COM port. Now hit the upload button so that the code will run in 80 mega 38 microcontroller. After uploading the code, you can start the testing process. Dip the LoRaWAN soil moisture sensor in soil or keep it on a pot for testing. If the LoRaWAN sensor is functioning properly, TTN will receive a data byte stream that has been parsed. The GTN dashboard receives the soil moisture, temperature, humidity, and battery voltage data. Finally, the project is successful. You can also do one more thing to make the data more user-friendly and visually accessible to end users. We can send the data from TTN to Things Speak for Diagram Display. For that, click the integration and then Wavehooks. Add Wavehook, search the icon of Things Speak and click it. Login to Things Speak and create a new channel. Configure the channel is in the picture. Then save the channel. Choose the right API keys. Copy the channel ID and write API key to the webhook and create ThingsSpeak webhook. The ThingsSpeak webhook has built. If the lower wine, temperature, humidity, soil, moisture sensor is functioning correctly, the ThingsSpeak server will receive a byte stream of data and display it in a visual graphical format. That is all from the video part. The complete project details including device information, purchase link, source code and written guide can be followed in the How to Electronics website article. In case you have any other questions, you can comment in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye bye.